Igor Fromman is a Soviet-born American businessman. He is an associate of Rudy Giuliani who, along with Lev Parnas, allegedly aided in a search in Ukraine for detrimental information on U.S. President Donald Trump's political opponents. This allegedly included looking for evidence for a narrative to counter Robert Mueller's special counsel investigation and information on former Vice President Joe Biden. Framan was born in Kalinkavici, Gomal region, Belarus, and immigrated to the U.S., later working in Ukraine for a time. He lived in the Detroit metropolitan area before moving to South Florida. He has owned an import-export business in Ukraine as well as a beach bar named Mafia Rave in Odessa, Ukraine. Framan attended the state funeral in December 2018 of former U.S. President George H. W. Bush, apparently as a guest of Rudy Giuliani. Framan's marriage to Yelizaveta Nomova ended in divorce. Framan partnered with Lev Parnas in an energy-related venture. In addition to working on joint business and political efforts, Parnas and Framan have been involved in Jewish charities and causes in the U.S., Ukraine and Israel. Framan and Parnas are on the board of a Ukrainian Jewish charity, Friends of Anitevka, founded by Ukrainian rabbi Moshe Ruvan Azman, to provide a refuge for Jews affected by the Russian military intervention in Ukraine. Parnas and Framan visited Israel in the summer of 2018 as a part of a delegation, led by former Arkansas Governor Mike Huckabee and joined by Anthony Scaramucci, of right-wing Jewish and evangelical supporters of Trump. While there, the group met with various leaders and personalities including the U.S. Ambassador to Israel, David M. Friedman, Benjamin Netanyahu's son Yair Netanyahu, as well as billionaire Simon Felick, one of Netanyahu's most generous donors. Huckabee joined the two once again in March 2019 when they were awarded with the Joe Wave Zion Awards at a gala for the National Council of Young Israel an event focused on supporting President Trump and Israeli West Bank settlements. Rudy Giuliani and House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy were in attendance as well. While in Israel Parnas and Framan also met with oligarch Ihor Kolomoisky, a wealthy Ukrainian under investigation by the Department of Justice for money laundering. In 2018, Parnas and Framan hired Giuliani, the president's personal attorney to serve as a consultant as the two, according to Julani, were ramping up a security business with the felicitous name, Fraud Guarantee. Florida authorities had apparently dissolved Fraud Guarantee in September 2014 for failing to file an annual report, which would have limited the company to activities related to closing itself down. The Republican donor Trump supporter and Long Island attorney Charles Guchardo paid Giuliani on behalf of fraud. Guarantee in two $250,000 payments. In September and October 2018, late in 2018, Giuliani allegedly sent the two to Ukraine to search for damaging information on Trump's U.S. political rivals. According to the New York Times, their mission was to find people and information that could be used to undermine the special counsel's investigation and also to damage former Vice President Joseph R. Biden. Both were allegedly also at the center of the pro-Trump forces push to remove Mary Yovanovitch, the U.S. ambassador to Ukraine, because her loyalty to President Trump was deemed deficient as Trump pursued his agenda there. It is also alleged that the two pressed for support for allegations that former Ukrainian officials schemed to manipulate the 2016 election to support Hillary Clinton by revealing adverse information about Paul Manafort, chairman of Trump's campaign, which became a central element in Mueller's special counsel investigation. Also, over the course of a year beginning in 2018, the two men allegedly introduced Giuliani to Ukrainians who were amenable to promoting a largely unsubstantiated narrative about the Bidens. These included Yuri Lutsenko, a former prosecutor general of Ukraine, who was critical to Giuliani's efforts to produce damaging information. Viktor Shokum, also a former prosecutor general of Ukraine, was part of this group. Parnas and Robert F. Hyde reportedly exchanged messages indicating that then-ambassador Mary Yovanovitch was under surveillance and that they were working to have her removed. 
the New York field office of the Federal Bureau of Investigation, along with SDNY prosecutors, are conducting a criminal investigation of Giuliani's relationship with Parnas and Framan. Giuliani is under investigation for potentially violating lobbying laws. Parnas was initially being legally represented by John M. Dowd, who was Trump's personal attorney in the Mueller investigation in 2017-18. Until he fired him and hired Joseph A. Bondi, Dowd initially represented Framan as well. Framan and Lev Parnas were arrested on the evening of October 9, 2019, at Dulles International Airport, and charged, 